hello welcome to my channel today I'm Tara with pieces of Tara artistry thank you for joining me so today I'm going to be attempting a bloom swipe and um, if you've been following me lately you know that I took the Shelly e-course and or Shelly art e-course and um, I have been doing um, some blooms lately and this one I am trying to swipe I, I've done swipes in the past um, uh, you'll probably see a couple of them uh, bloom swipes using the mix uh, from Krista Rasmussen. But this is um, actually my first swipe with the Shelly uh, formula. So I am not good at it. And I am, you know, I, I, I like how this one turned out. I mean, there's some definite parts I need to work on, but I really do like how this one turned out. So uh, two artists that I've been watching a lot lately is um, Je uh, Jessica Winterstrom from Winterstrom Art um, here on YouTube. And she's got a pretty um, uh, big following on Instagram. She is um, awesome to watch do these swipes. And she actually had a tutorial about a month ago uh, showing how to do these bloom swipes. So I actually learned a lot from that. And then also Lisa Marvin Art, she recently had another um, swiping tutorial that I watched and I thought that was uh, really helpful information. So um, here is my attempt. I am using, oh my dog keeps growling. I hope you can hear that. But um, yeah, so <laughs> Okay, sorry, I had to cut out there for a second while he stopped growling. Um, so I am using a tool, I think that fluidart.co has these on their website. When I wanted to buy one, they did not have uh, these uh, sort of spatula-like swiping tools um, in stock. So I got mine, uh, it's a Liquitex um, brand and I got it from Blick. So that's another option if you're looking for this type of tool for swiping. So <laughs> this was kind of weird. I don't know why I chose to swipe like this, but I did. And I really, it, I think it kind of came together in the end. Um, I think I dug down into the pillow a couple times too much. So uh, I end up getting more of those white cells, which I, I'm actually okay with because um, it kind of gives it a little bit of, of dimension. Oh, here he goes again. Um, so I wasn't really super excited about that middle section there. Um, it was just kind of too rounded to me and it was meeting in kind of a weird way. So I decided to add in another little Kind of section coming off of there uh, to break up the the roundedness of that. Um, so here you see me putting on uh, the layering the paints again. And I just want to take a second and um, talk a little bit about the Shelly e-course. Uh, I um, took it uh, because I wanted to try something different, a challenge. Um, and there's a lot of YouTubers out there that will give you the recipes and all that, um, which is great, especially if you are in a different part of the world other than Australia. Um, a lot of the e-course is um, centered on products from Australia. Um, but the thing is, so I at first um, was like, well, I can't get these products. And so... But it, it really, the course is really good for just teaching you a little bit more about the background of it, the technique. And then I, the thing that I find invaluable um, and probably uh, the best part of the course was the ability to get into the Facebook group, the Shelly Facebook group, because that is just got tons and tons of good information um, a community that you can ask questions. There's videos on paint consistencies and how to mix in your part of the world. So I really, um, I found that to be super valuable. And I know that Shelly is redoing her course right now. And um, if you do uh, take the course, you'll be grandfathered in when she um, puts the new course out. 
So uh, you'll get it at the cheaper price that it is right now. Uh, then um, once once she puts the new course out, it's gonna the price is gonna go up. So I definitely would take advantage of that. Um, if you're looking for to take the course, I do have a coupon co code for 15% off. I will link that in the description uh, if you're interested in that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of tilting my paints back and forth, trying to looking looking for kind of um, a little bit of a composition that I like, uh, tilting back and forth. And I, what, what you, you're doing here too is you're opening up those cells and um, expanding them and seeing you know what what's gonna what's gonna happen so I take a few minutes here and I address my sides and I'm not sure if a lot of other people do this but um, I have found that if you have bare canvas and I have a deep edge canvas so I am concerned about how it looks on the sides and so I take the time to at least wet the canvas with the paint on the edges because sometimes you'll spin off and if you don't have enough paint on that one section, it won't flow off and you'll get bare canvas and it's a lot harder to get a you know design on the sides to look nice if you do that. So I just spun out here, again, opening up those cells, getting some of that paint off because uh, that's another thing with this is you're using house paint. It dries very quickly and uh, it could get some cracking. And I'm really sorry if you're hearing my, my dog growl. He, every noise he hears, he is, he growls at. So <laughs> I really apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. So I am going to let you watch the rest of this. Uh, I do show the wet and the dry results. I really do love how this one turns out and if you have any questions let me know uh, comments constructive criticism what am I doing wrong let me know I want to hear that too because I'm just new at this so I want to hear what you guys have to say if you like what you're seeing please like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video and yeah I think that's it I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.